Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all what I've picked up from this year's Sephora savings event. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Okay, y'all, so I have three big bags here. We have a bag of just like makeup and beauty, well, beauty and skincare. We have Sephora collection and then we have some fragrances. So we're gonna save the fragrances for the end of the video. So let's just start with Sephora collection. So you guys know, if you don't know, Sephora collection is 30% off. I already told y'all, like when it comes to these lashes, like I plays no games. First of all, I made an online order. By the time that comes, the sale is gonna be over. I'll show you guys that in like in a vlog or something like that. Um, but yeah, so I racked up on my lashes. So the two styles that I got this year, well this sale is Everyday Flare, which looks like this. And I also picked up my favorite one, which is Fluffed and Full which looks like this. I love these lashes, y'all. The reason why I love these lashes is because they don't look super extra. I don't have the face that fits the super big and long lashes. They look really nice on other people, but for me, it just doesn't, my eyes are too small. It just doesn't look right on me. They like overwhelm my face, if that makes any sense. They just don't look good on me. So that's one. And two, the band of a lot of lashes are super, super stiff and just like very, very uncomfortable. It feels like it's poking me in my eyes. I feel the lashes on my face. I don't wanna feel you on my face, okay? Like I just wanna see them and they look pretty. So I'm so glad Sephora came out with the weightless lashes, y'all, because they literally feel so comfortable on my face. I don't feel them. I got the glossed gloss. This isn't my first time getting these. I really like these. They're affordable, they're shiny, they look really good on my lips. They're comfortable, they're not sticky and they're 30% off like hello let's start there so I got the colors let me see if I can see so this is blessed it's like a nice brownie nude color for my skin tone I got the color magic yes this is magic it's like a dark mauve color here's the thing y'all I stick with the same kind of colors it's either like a mauve color deep mauve like pink but like a pinky mauve or a nude or red you know so i'm getting the same colors all the time and then this color is driven which is a really pretty like baby doll pink but every baby doll pink isn't made for me because there's some brands that have really pretty baby doll pinks they look really pretty in the bottle but then on me it's too white too ashy looking like it just doesn't look good so this is a nice deep pink but it reads baby doll pink on me so that's what these look like nice gloss glossed for 30% off I got another one of the Sephora cotton um I was gonna say rounds but they're not round they're actually square but y'all they're big I just love them they're thick they don't leave any residue on my face I used to buy the Chanel ones I used to buy Shiseido ones I used to buy Target ones nothing beats the Sephora brand I'm telling y'all it's not just the price because I want to say these retail for like $12 and then you can get 30% off of that but the Chanel ones just one they're really small two they left like cotton residue on my skin like I didn't like that Shiseido was really it was cool but it was too small I would have to use like two or three and the Target ones they weren't bad but they're not as big as these I love these makeup setting spray from Sephora collection y'all I love this first of all you guys already seen me talk about one in my recommendations video so I got a backup because it's 30% and I literally use these like water like when I'm applying my makeup I'm I do a step like maybe I'm correcting and then I spray and then I put my foundation and concealer and then I spray and then I put my powder and then I spray and then I do my contour and then I spray and th you get it like I'm spraying in between steps because that's what keeps my face looking moist and hydrated and not dry especially when you're doing a lot of steps to your face and using a lot of powder and I use a lot of powder I use like a 
finishing powder, setting powder, loose powder, 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 powder. So I love to use setting sprays in between all my steps. And this y'all is so good because it doesn't look greasy. It doesn't look matte. I just love how it gives the skin just like a nice subtle glow. It's not too glowy, like it's not too dewy looking. And it actually sets the makeup and hold it in place. I wore this to an event and I was out like for a really long time and when i came home my makeup did not move i had no creasing no nothing like my makeup looked just how i looked when i left the house so i'm like yeah this is the truth and this is supposed to be a 16 hour wear transfer proof sweat and humidity resistant and the thing about this is i love this because even though it's like sweat proof and humidity proof or whatever it doesn't look matte you know what i'm saying so if you don't like a matte look on your skin then this is perfect i love this y'all and 30 percent off like i said you can't beat it i've never tried this and i always see this y'all but this was on sale for ten dollars and then it was 30 percent off so i paid seven dollars for this so this is the sephora micro smooth powder i'm hoping this color goes with my skin it looks like it right I think it'll go so I mean seven dollars and people rave about this I've seen Aaliyah's face talk about this I've seen I've seen a few people talk about this and it's a really good price so if this is like a micro smoothing powder and blurring and you know setting your makeup and all that for seven dollars um yeah winning <laughs> so the last two things that I got from Sephora collection are the deep cleaning brush and brush and sponge shampoo so I got two of them and I got the largest ones because these clean my brushes like no other I do have some leftover from the beauty blender cleanser because sometimes I go ham with those but like just shampooing like deep cleaning my brushes this right here is the truth. It cleans the brushes. I get a whole lot of products. I literally don't buy these until the sale because this lasts me. You guys know I have a lot of brushes. So whenever I wash my brushes, I'm using at least like a quarter of this or maybe even half. And you know, I have like another backup or so. And then I bought two more of the large ones. I love these. So you don't have to spend a ton of money on brush cleaners because this does the job. Okay, so now we have just like a bag of just stuff. Y'all already know how the Sephora sale goes. Like you just picking up stuff. So I'm just gonna be reaching in this bag and we just gonna get it popping, okay? So the first thing is this SK2 facial treatment essence. I got the 160 mils because I love this, okay? When I don't use it, I feel like I see a difference in my skin. So this has to be the truth this is my third bottle of this this is actually my first large bottle because i usually get the hundred dollar one that's like i think it's like 75 mils i think yeah and it's 99 dollars. but this time i was like you know what <laughs> get the larger one so that you won't be out of it as quick because i use this every day like twice a day in my skincare routine i use my toner and then I use this and then I use my serum. So it just keeps the face nice and moist and then it makes all the other products that you use like just soak into your skin and adhere to your skin even better. So this is really good. Rare Beauty Blushes. Now guys, you already know, when the craze was going on with the whole um, liquid blushes by Rare Beauty, everybody loves them, everybody was talking about them. I'm not a liquid blush girly. I have two liquid blushes in my whole entire makeup collection and they're both from Juvia's Place and I love them, but I rarely use them. <laughs> like I can count on my fingers how many times I've used them. I don't remember to use liquid blushes all the time because I'm such a powder girl, like powder contour, powder bl um, bronzer, like I'm a powder girl. So she came out with soft pink, no, <laughs> soft pinch luminous powder blush y'all i already have two i had to buy two more so the colors that i have i want to say i have happy and truth 
Happy is like a super pretty pink color, which I'm wearing today. So let me tell you. So when we went to, well, we, when I went to the Laquise Imagineers launch party for their new fragrance, Olivia was there. Olivia is a content creator on YouTube and Instagram. She is really awesome, really cool. She gave me a compliment on my blush. She was like, oh my God, what's on your cheek? It's like shiny, like iridescent. So I actually use it as a blush topper because it's not, it's pigmented, but it's like better for me as like a blush topper. Plus I have so many blushes. It's fine for me to put a blush underneath and then put that on top. So the colors that I got now, I have joy and love. So let's open these together, y'all. The consistency of this, I mean, top tier. They are so soft, so, look at, oh my goodness, look at this color. It is so gorgeous. Do you see that? Now, do you see, like, you see the color, right? But for me, it's better on top of, like, a terracotta kind of blush or an orange blush or whatever blush that I'm using that's gonna, you know, go with this. So, I use it as, like, a blush topper. Rihanna came out with the Fenty Beauty Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighters and they're limited edition. So I got two of them. I got the color Trophies and Truff Trophies in Truffle and I got That's Rich. So let me show you what these colors look like. So pretty. So gorgeous. So this is the packaging. It's almost like an iridescent kind of look to it. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. Okay, so this is what the color looks like and this is how it looks on my skin. So this is like a really pretty like highlight right there. Just give me a little glow. It's like a soft glow. You know, it's not like beam me up Scotty, but you're gonna glow and it's really perfect for the spring and summer when the sun decides to shine you know <laughs> it's been raining a lot y'all and it's been cold like first of all it snowed yesterday here it was like a little hail and a little snow oh boy fix it jesus so this is the trophies and truffle color oh no guys it's broken i have to return this i'm not keeping this broken but this is what the color looks like. It's right here. Super pretty. So another thing I got is by Shiseido and this is the Ultimate Sun Protector Lotion SPF of 60 plus. Don't know what the plus means, but I'm just gonna say you have at least 60 minutes with this before you have to uh, reapply. So it's invisible and breathable protection veil strengthened by heat and water. So you can wear this in the pool, at the beach, whatever. Shiseido makes amazing sunscreens. I love them for vacation. They're so super cute. I got another Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. You guys know what this looks like in the purple bottle. I don't wanna open it, but I love my Tatcha. I got two of the Stila Micro Tip Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. For me guys, this is the easiest way for me to do my liquid liner, it's like my wing liner. You guys know I love a good wing and this is the easiest way for me because it's like a felt tip liquid and when I tell you like it doesn't dry out quickly. I can use one for months, like literally months and use it like every day or at least four times a week, you know, when I'm doing my makeup. So love these, I always get these. I also read up, oh, read up, is that a word? I also re-upped <laughs> on my brow pencils by Benefits. So I have four of them, the Precisely My Brow Pencil. So I have the color, where is, so I have five, which is like a really dark color that goes like on the outer parts of my eyebrow. I have four and I have 3.75. Sometimes I'll use a lighter color for this part of my brows, like just for like the hair-like strokes, or I'll use my NYX because listen, I love my NYX pencil um, for that. Like it's really good for that, but sometimes, you know, it just depends on how I feel. So I got the lighter color just for the inner 
parts of my brow. I done tried every single brow pencil. I used to be so loyal to Anastasia Beverly Hills like for years and then I stopped and then I discovered the NYX pencil because it's really comparable to the Anastasia but like $10 cheaper. So yeah, I was going to NYX and then I discovered the Benefit but the Benefit is different guys. It's like creamy. It just glides so much easier, but although it glides, it doesn't smudge. I don't know. They done perfected it. Okay. I love it. So I got some, oh, I got a Huda Beauty Cream Coal Eyeliner. It's waterproof. I love these pencils. I have brown and I have black. I didn't get brown this time, but I have like a ton of brown in my arsenal, but I just needed another black one because I use black liner all the time and it's waterproof proof okay love this i got an anastasia beverly hills lip gloss in the color deep taupe she has really good lip products you guys like i know she's known for her eyebrow products but don't sleep on her lippies so this is what the color looks like Ooh, it's so pretty a nice nudie glossy color it is so pretty should i put some on right now i'm wearing um what am i wearing hot chocolate by fenty no i don't want to mess up my lips i got a little thing going on here but this is really pretty like these are just like my staple colors i also got a concealer by tower 28 i've never tried anything from this brand but the concealer was saying it said um it's a serum concealer, but that's not what got me. It What got me was it's like a hydrating concealer. It doesn't say it on the box, but it is a hydrating, like weightless, full coverage concealer. So I got it in the color 16 SB. So I'm going to try this. I'm not going to open it just yet because I have so many concealers in rotation, but I definitely want to give this a try because I love anything hydrating, especially for under the eye. Okay. Because I work to keep my under eyes hydrated and not looking dry. I got another Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. I mean, every sale I pick up at least one and I have, I think two that's unopened and one that I have opened because I don't use them all the time. I use them on vacation. I use, I use it um, if I'm going out like to an event, if Bay and I are going on a date night, but if I'm home, I'm using either the Sephora collection or Sol de Janeiro because it doesn't have any aluminum. This has aluminum. They also have an aluminum free one and I tried it, it did nothing for me. Um, so the deodorant that I have with aluminum is this and I absolutely love it. So I have two Patrick Ta lip glosses. So I have the rich plumping gloss and I bought two colors. I have need her and obviously. So let's look at need her. It's like a pretty, again, mauve <laughs> pinky color. It's a cute packaging. This is what it looks like get my fingerprints off so this is what it looks like and it just felt super soft on the skin like I didn't put it on my lips obviously but when I swatched it in store how it glided on like I was just like okay I like this and the color is super pretty do you see that really pretty color so that'll be nice like a nice pinky nude color and then the obviously is like a brownie nude color. It's pretty much like that Anastasia Beverly Hills color that I just showed you. This is what it looks like. Nice brownie nude color. So I got a re-up of my Fenty Beauty um, Universal Lip Luminizer, but in that fuchsia color that I showed y'all, that color right there, y'all, is everything. I've gotten compliments on my lipstick with this. Like it is so pretty. Look. Do y'all see that? Do you see how iridescent it is and how just glossy and just yummy it is? Like it is so good. So I just had to get a backup, love that. And two more things. I got a Bobbi Brown, the skin corrector in the very deep peach. If you guys follow me on Instagram and you watch me do my makeup and my reels, every time I'm doing like a color corrector around my mouth, 
this is what I'm using. I have Huda Beauty and I do like it, but it's liquid and it just takes a little longer. It has to dry, but this is a cream stick and the color is perfection for me. Like I said, I have very deep peach. And then the final thing I have is a NARS concealer, the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is a cream concealer, but I use this for under my eyebrows. This is my under eyebrow concealer. It is the perfect color for my brow bone, first of all. And I love how it glides. It's like soft. Like I used to use the MAC, um, what was it called? I forgot the name of the concealer, but you know the MAC concealer in the pot, like in the small little pot. Um, I used to use NC45, which was a really good color, but it was drying. This is creamy, not too creamy, but not too matte and dry. You know what I'm saying? So this is like the perfect in between for me and the color is excellent. So I just got a re-up of this. And that's it for the random beauty and skincare. So now let's go on to fragrance. So Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. I had to get it this is well you guys know this is a re-up because mine is almost done when i tell y'all something is for life i'm not just telling y'all because it sounds good i'm telling y'all because when it's done sis gonna buy another one okay because love don't be shy extreme is one of my favorite sweet yummy floral citrusy marshmallowy decadent scents like i love it so much i love it way more than love don't be shy love don't be shy was my first love okay like i'm not even gonna take nothing away from her but love extreme it's something about love extreme that just it just hits different and hits better for me than love don't be shy so this is now my second bottle of love extreme and i love it so i had to get mood ring so one of my followers on instagram she actually has a page like she does like fragrance content um smell me before you see me so she posted um a reel and she had it in a like a fruity fragrance reel or something like that and i was like sis what's tea on this and she was like it's good like it's sweet and fruity like it smells like gummy bears or whatever so i'm like okay say less so i went to the sephora that had it in stock smelled it and fell in love I'm like, how come people aren't talking about mood ring? It is so good. And I love this green color. <laughs> it is so pretty. Let me spray it. Ooh, yes. I love it, y'all. Mm, it's good. Like, honestly, it does smell juicy and like gummy bears, but it just has more depth to it. It also seems like it has some kind of citrus in it just to like cut it up and not make it so cloyingly sweet this is good i love this it's gonna be perfect for the spring and the summer and i have two more fragrances to share with y'all and these are the fragrances by jackie Ina and forever mood and the two that i picked up that i felt like were full bottle worthy for me is hard to get love and i am her now honestly NDA is really good too, but I feel like I'm not gonna wear that one right now. But these, I can definitely see myself wearing these now. I'm not even gonna lie to you. When I first saw this bottle, I was like, mm, I don't know about this bottle, Jackie. Like, I don't know. It's given like celebrity fragrance, you know. But um, seeing it in person, that's when I started to like it. I was like, oh no, it's pretty. It kind of reminds me of the Versace bottles, the bright crystals, right? So this was like the yellow crystal, but this is just a different shape, but it's really pretty. This one, y'all, let me tell you, if you love citrus scents, like for the summer, you'll love this. It's like a citrus gourmand, but it's not like heavily gourmand. Ooh, it's so pretty. It, I think it's like citrine or citron and there's jasmine and whipped uh whipped vanilla or whipped cream whip something but this is really good this one you have to let dry down on your skin a little bit because when you first spray it you're just going to get the citruses but as it dries down those sweet whipped creamy notes start coming through mm. and it's really pretty for the summer though spring and summer like this isn't one of your heavy hitter gourmands for the fall or winter no this is like a hot day spring and summer like that's what this is and it's so good and so i am her is like the raspberry 
red velvet cake oud fragrance but i'm gonna tell you something about the oud in this fragrance the oud in here guys because there's so many different types of oud and i learned that when i was creating my fragrance with navitas so many different types of oud and they all smell different so the oud in here has a more earthy type of scent not a woody scent so this almost kind of smells like patchouli if that makes any sense so if you like patchouli then you'll love this if you don't like patchouli or like woody notes then i don't know i'm not gonna say this is like a safe blind buy because you definitely smell that earthiness in the dry down of this fragrance it opens up super bright and juicy and then it goes away quickly and then the gourmand notes start to kick in but that dry down is there so if you love oud then you'll love this but it's not like a strong oud like you don't have to be afraid of this oud right here but i know some of y'all be like oh i smell oud and da, da da so just try it out because you know you're gonna see this like light pink bottle that's so girly and so pretty and you're gonna be like wait like what is this earthiness in this fragrance i wasn't expecting that but it is so pretty to me it gives it depth you can layer it with other fragrances like i have some layering combinations for these like we gonna talk about it in a layering video i got y'all but um yeah so aren't they so pretty you guys i have one more that i want to get like i said i want to get nda but i don't need it right now and I think it's sold out anyway, but they are so pretty. Like, I just love them. I'm going to review them in depth. Well, maybe. Do you guys want to see a review? Because, I mean, they're all over TikTok and Instagram. If you want to see it anyway, just let me know and I'll do it. All right, guys, we made it to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what did you pick up from the Sephora sale. And if you're not done shopping, you still have time because the time that I'm releasing this video, the sale is still going on. So go on ahead and get your life. I'm going to link everything in the description box. Let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember, guys, to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.